Hi everyone welcome to back the channel Auto Rush. The year 2025 marks another turning point in the world of aviation technology, and among the most fascinating stories of this year comes from Russia, with the Mikoya and MiG-35 stepping forward as a modern multi-role fighter that seeks to carry forward the legacy of the MiG brand while also carving out its own distinct place in the skies. The MiG-35 is not just a new aircraft that is the result of decades of continuous evolution technical upgrades, and strategic necessity. To understand this aircraft in all of its complexity, one must not only look at the specifications on paper but also the broader geopolitical and defense environment in which it is positioned. The MiG-35 is being introduced at a time when fifth-generation aircraft like the American F-35 Lightning II, the Chinese J-20 Mighty Dragon, and the Russian Su-57 Felon are already in play. However, Russia has pursued the MiG-35 as an affordable, reliable, and versatile fighter designed to give air forces across the world a highly capable yet cost-effective option. The MiG lineage has always been about speed, maneuverability, and adaptability. The iconic MiG-29, first flown in the late 1970s, was a response to American fourth-generation fighters like the F-16 and F-A-18. Over the years, Various upgrades and modifications to the MiG-29 platform kept it relevant, but with the MiG-35, Mikoyan has taken things much further, delivering an aircraft that has been thoroughly redesigned, equipped with cutting-edge avionics, powerful engines, advanced weaponry, and a modern radar suite that positions it as a formidable multi-role machine. The MiG-35 can operate as a frontline air superiority fighter, an interceptor a ground strike platform, and a reconnaissance aircraft. In short, it is meant to be flexible enough to take on virtually any mission an air force requires. One of the key aspects of the MiG-35 in 2025 is its emphasis on affordability. In a world where stealth fighters like the F-35 come with astronomical price tags, Russia has intentionally marketed the MiG-35 as a fighter that delivers high-end capabilities without bankrupting the defense budget. Reports suggest that the cost of a MiG-35 is a fraction of what a fifth-generation fighter demands, and this makes it especially attractive to nations looking to modernize their air forces without relying too heavily on expensive Western defense deals. The idea is simple, give nations a fighter with modern radar, electronic warfare capabilities, and precision-guided weapon systems, while still keeping acquisition and operational costs within reach. The airframe itself is based on the proven MiG-29 design but features numerous refinements. Aerodynamically, the MiG-35 incorporates improved control surfaces, redesigned wings, and enhanced materials that allow for greater agility, higher payload capacity and increased survivability. The airframe has been strengthened to extend service life, with a projected operational lifespan of around 6,000 hours of flight time, which is a considerable improvement over earlier MiG aircraft. This durability is critical for export customers who want not only performance but also longevity in their investment. At the heart of the MiG-35 is its propulsion system. The fighter is powered by two Klimov Road 33 MK engines which provides significantly greater thrust compared to older versions. These engines come with thrust vectoring nozzles, a technology that allows the MiG-35 to perform extreme maneuvers and maintain agility in close combat situations. The thrust-to-weight ratio of the aircraft ensures that it can accelerate quickly, climb rapidly, and sustain supersonic speeds without requiring afterburners an efficiency advantage that improves both range and survivability. With afterburners engaged, the MiG-35 can reach speeds of Mach 2.25, putting it firmly in the realm of high-performance fourth-plus generation fighters. Beyond speed and agility, what truly defines modern air combat is avionics, and in this area the MiG-35 has been heavily upgraded. The aircraft is equipped with the zuk am Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, a system that can track multiple targets simultaneously while resisting jamming and electronic interference. The SASA radar provides the MiG-35 with advanced situational awareness, allowing it to engage aerial threats at long range while also detecting and tracking ground targets. Unlike older mechanically scanned radars, 
The ACE system improves reliability and reduces maintenance demands. It is capable of tracking up to 30 targets at once, engaging six of them simultaneously, and provides a detection range of over 160 kilometers for aerial targets. The cockpit of the MiG-35 has been modernized for 21 Street Century Warfare, featuring a glass cockpit design with large multifunctional displays. Pilots are provided with real-time data that integrates information from sensors, radars, and external sources. The system is compatible with helmet-mounted displays, allowing pilots to lock onto targets simply by looking at them a feature that greatly enhances reaction time in dogfights. The cockpit also employs hands-on throttle and stick controls, reducing pilot workload and enabling split-second decision-making in high-pressure combat environments. In addition to avionics, the MiG-35 places strong emphasis on survivability. It features an advanced electronic warfare suite that can detect incoming missile threats, jam enemy radars, and deploy countermeasures such as flares and chaff. The aircraft is also equipped with reduced radar cross-section features, though it is not a stealth aircraft in the same sense as the F-35 or Su-57. Instead, it uses radar-absorbent materials and design optimizations to make it more difficult to detect compared to older fighters. This balance between stealth optimization and affordability is one of the core reasons the MiG-35 appeals to export markets. Weapons integration is another cornerstone of the MiG-35's appeal. The fighter has nine hardpoints, capable of carrying a wide range of ordnance including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, precision-guided bombs, and unguided rockets. Among its primary air-to-air -air missiles are the R-77 and R-73, which provide both beyond visual range and short-range combat capabilities. For ground strikes, the MiG-35 can carry KH-31 and KH-35 anti-ship missiles, as well as a wide variety of guided bombs that allow it to perform precision strikes against strategic targets. It is also equipped with a 30mm internal cannon ensuring it retains a classic close combat capability. Another defining feature of the MiG-35 in 2025 is its network-centric warfare capability. The aircraft is designed to share data with other fighters, ground stations, and even drones in real time. This ability to operate as part of a larger digital ecosystem dramatically improves its effectiveness allowing it to serve as both a frontline fighter and a force multiplier within a network battlefield environment. In an era where warfare is increasingly about information dominance, this capability is vital. The operational range of the MiG-35 has also been improved compared to its predecessors, with additional internal fuel capacity and the option for external fuel tanks. It can operate at ranges of up to 1,000 kilometers in combat missions with a ferry range of over 2,000 kilometers. Aerial refueling capability further extends its operational flexibility, allowing it to perform long-range missions that were previously the domain of larger, heavier fighters. From a maintenance perspective, the MiG-35 has been designed to reduce costs and improve reliability. McCoyan has emphasized that the aircraft is much easier to service than older models requiring fewer maintenance hours per flight hour. This makes it attractive to nations that may not have extensive maintenance infrastructure but still require reliable and advanced aircraft to bolster their defense capabilities. In terms of positioning, the MiG-35 in 2025 represents Russia's attempt to secure a stronghold in the international fighter market, while the Su-57 is Russia's flagship stealth fighter. Its high costs and complexity limit its export potential. The MiG-35, on the other hand, is marketed as a practical solution for countries in Asia, Africa, the Middle East, and Latin America. Nations like Egypt and India have previously shown interest in the aircraft, and as geopolitical alignments shift, the MiG-35 could see further export success. Its affordability, versatility, and modern systems make it a compelling choice for nations that cannot acquire Western aircraft due to either financial constraints or political considerations. But beyond its export potential, the MiG-35 also has significance for the Russian Air Force itself. It provides a bridge between older fourth-generation fighters and the newer stealth aircraft. 
ensuring that Russia maintains a large and capable fighter fleet while production of the Su-57 and future sixth-generation projects continues. The MiG-35 offers a platform that is modern enough to face today's threats while being cost-effective enough to be procured in larger numbers than stealth aircraft. Critics often raise the question of whether the MiG-35 is truly competitive against fifth-generation fighters. The answer lies in understanding its role. The MiG-35 is not meant to replace stealth fighters but to complement them. Against aircraft like the F-35, it may lack stealth, but it compensates with extreme agility, powerful radar, and lower operational costs. In conflicts where stealth is not the decisive factor. The MiG-35 can still perform exceptionally well. Furthermore, its electronic warfare capabilities and data link systems give it an edge in contested environments, ensuring that it can fight effectively even when stealth aircraft are not available. As of 2025, the MiG-35 is more than just an aircraft it is a symbol of strategic choice. For nations that cannot access Western fighters or who want to diversify their defense procurement, the MiG-35 represents an alternative that is both capable and politically viable. Its presence on the global stage adds to the diversity of aircraft and service worldwide, ensuring that the balance of aerial power